y'all, this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors in the Old Man Trapping Series. And I'd like to talk to you today about canine uh, circuits that they make. Or in other words, coyotes and, and foxes and the daily circuit that they make. I've had a lot of questions on this. Uh, some of you have been asking, like... Mr. Stevens, uh, I would see a coyote in the field and I would go out and set traps for it and uh, end up not even catching it for 10 days to two weeks or maybe I didn't even catch it but I had a sign like a week or 10 days or two weeks later that it came back through. What's with this? Well, Coyotes and foxes have what I call, now this is my opinion, uh, a travel circuit uh, that they, uh, every so many days, they make and complete a circuit around in like um, uh, one week, ten days, a two weeks time frame to complete it back to that point. Well, what happens is with the coyotes, let's start with them first. Uh, in my area of West Virginia and Eastern Panhandle, uh, we have like a 10-day to two-week cycle circuit to where they are here one day, and it's 10 days to two weeks before they're back here, and that's because they have such a large home range. It can be anywhere from a 5 to 10-mile circuit. That's my opinion. Um, this uh, estimating that and the reason it's so large is because our numbers here are not uh, as dense as say Texas or some of the southwestern states there where they have uh, a, a denser population of coyotes so what I have found here is that the more dense that a coyote population is the smaller their circuit is and that would be because uh, the more coyotes that you have the more infighting you're going to have between uh, different packs say for instance you have uh, a five mile radius that this pack is in and over here is another pack with a five mile radius well when they begin to increase in population uh, they're going to need, uh, they're going to go ahead and travel wider to try to fulfill that. But it, what's going to happen, you're going to have pack confrontation and fighting. So to uh, remedy that, what they do is they shorten or make smaller their circuit that they travel in. So with say like in Texas where you have a vast amount of coyotes uh, it ends up that um, you may have like a two or three day or even maybe a one day circuit uh, of coyotes because the population is just so large uh, that's why it's easier to catch in my opinion uh, coyotes say like in Texas or the the southwestern states than it is out here where I live because the numbers are not as large as they are in Texas. So, having said that, as we jump to the, the fox situation, uh, a fox's home range or circuit is much, much smaller. And my opinion is it's like um, between a half a mile to a mile circuit for a red fox. That's why you can have fox tracks in your set today and maybe you didn't catch him maybe he just didn't step on that pan just right but it ends up that you come back tomorrow and there he is he's in there well it ends up that their circuit is so small that they can travel the same uh, circuits and the same farms every evening or every night so what I've also found is that a pair of foxes, a male and a female, as they mate for life, uh, they tend to stay on that same home range their entire life. 
And what happens when they have their, their pups, when they get to, um, say, six months of age, say late November, they're born in the spring, but you come in November, December, and January, they kick those pups out, and they have to go find their own home range. So that's why they, they tend to spread out a whole lot more. And that's why you tend to find you'll be trapping an area, say, in November, and you, you catch, 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 and all of a sudden it slows down. And then and a little bit later here, in a few days or a week or two weeks later, you start catching younger foxes again. That's because they've moved out from another area and were chased out by the parents, and they move into this area that's vacant that you made vacant by... Uh, trapping out the resident foxes now they're coming from another area into your area now and you're seeing them and trapping them there say like in late November December and January so that is my two cents on how the uh, circuit or the the traveling pattern of coyotes and red foxes are and I hope this has been informative to you and that you can take something out of this what you need to do is consider where you're at the population of your canines coyotes and foxes and that will help you try to find out uh, their how many days it takes for them to complete that circuit now the way you can do that is even if you're not trapping, you can visit those areas and look for tracks, fresh tracks, fresh scat, or fresh kills, or whatever, and, and note that day, and then come back and keep coming back and checking it out till you find more fresh tracks and scat, fresh scat and things of such, and that way you can get a ballpark anyway of the time frame it takes them to complete their circle to be back here to step in your foothold or your snare this is jw stevens family outdoor the old man trapping series have a great day hey folks this is jw with stevens family outdoors and uh the old man trapping series I think I'll wait a minute till that plane goes over. Take two. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing in the breeze. Country roads take me home.